What's up guys? Back in the kitchen. Casper reached another new all-time high. I woke up today kind of late, but I saw Casper broke five cents. And I literally said it in my live stream yesterday that it was probably going to hit five cents. And what did it do? It hit five cents. Casper is like buying Cardano below three cents. Where did Cardano go last bull cycle? Over three dollars, right? What's Cardano's total supply? 45 billion. What's Casper's total supply? 28.7 billion. Proof of work. Cardano, proof of stake. Bullish on both, but there's no argument with proof of work and proof of stake. We've seen so many issues that proof of stake has versus proof of work. Now, proof of work is not perfect either. You see some of these issues with energy usage and climate, which I think is exaggerated. But when it comes to the comparison, the centralization matters for crypto. That was a big reason why crypto was created altogether, was to fix a broken centralized financial system and give you, yes, you, the power back, your financial sovereignty, take control of your wealth, be essentially your own bank account, and be able to utilize crypto to your needs whenever you feel fit with no intermediary. That is the true draw to why crypto was created. Many people see it today and they're like, oh, blockchain technology, great. Oh, blockchain gaming, that's great. NFTs, it's so fun. But the initial intent with crypto and where we, you know, enthusiasts really see it towards mass adoption is being used as payment, being used as a store of value, a store of wealth, and being an alternative to the dollar today, the alternative to currency in the world. And Casper, being a proof of work, no ICO, fairly launched. You know, a lot of people, and I see it too, by the way, I see a lot of FUD out there. Uh, it's overbought. It's going to come down. It's going to tank like all these cryptos. You have to understand the dips for cash, but if you can't see this on a chart, I'm going to show you here, right? I'm not a TA guy, but I do recognize when cryptos reach higher highs and higher lows, which is exactly what cash was doing. Every time so far, cash has reached a new all-time high. It's never come back down to the previous low it reached. So literally a month ago, it was two cents. And then it broke to the three cent mark, broke to the three and a half, uh, three and a half cent mark, consolidated a bit, broke the four cent mark, which a lot of people kept saying, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And what did it do in the last 24 hours? It broke the five cent mark. It's not only in the top 100, it's in the top 50. Last I checked, it was number 45 despite no major exchange and this is something that people overlook the trading volume is 40 million at the start of this video yesterday on my live stream it was at 31 million 9 million more trading volume you look at this and you're like oh man it must be on some big exchange right no it's not yet on crypto.com it's not on gemini it's not on binance not on coinbase and i forget the other one oh kraken five exchanges Five exchanges yet to list Casper. The only reason why it's not on these big exchanges yet is because they're proof of work. There's no team. There's no incentive to pay these exchanges to list them. Exchanges like proof of stake crypto are companies. What do companies do? They make money or they want to make money, right? And so how are they going to do it? Well, if you want to list a crypto, you got to give them an incentive. But some of these exchanges like Uphold, they will list Casper in due time like Uphold did because they're going to recognize the trading volumes high. They're going to see it's popular. They're going to be like, wow, there's money to be made. And this is the thing. I see a lot of different opinions. That's fine. I welcome it. Da Vinci Jeremy is a queer example. When he made that video years ago, he's the true definition of I told you so. He was saying when Bitcoin was a dollar, please just buy it. And this is a great example. Do you really think he would put in the title, please just buy Bitcoin, if the majority of people were bullish on it? Of course not. He did that because everybody was doing what they're doing now to Casper today. They're saying, oh, stay away, stay away. Crypto's shady. One, you don't understand the ulterior motives of everybody, right? I'm going to show it to you guys straight. I do not even have my email posted. You see different videos on this platform of people shilling like crappy projects. I will never steer you guys wrong. I cover Caspa a lot. Obviously, no debate there, right? I got someone saying, you talk about this too much. If you go to my analytics, it's one of my least viewed videos. So if I'm not getting paid to cover Caspa, why the hell would I keep making videos? 
because I know this is a great crypto. I'm super, super bullish on it. And I want you guys to do your own research. I'm not telling you to be a blind investor and just say, great, he's bullish, dump in the bank account. Let's get the dump truck going. No, I'm not like that. And I don't recommend that. If you ever join my Discord, by the way, awesome community. I'll put a link in the comments down below. You'll see very fast in the first five minutes, we're all independent investors. We're all sharks doing our own thing. Most of my members don't even hold some of the cryptos I hold. And that is fine. I'm not there to create sheep. I'm there to create independent sharks, better investors. And so getting back on track, right? The reason why I'm making these videos is similar to Da Vinci Jeremy when he covered Bitcoin. It's not because I see it as a second coming of Bitcoin. Although Jonathan Sampaliski is one of the most smartest computer engineers in the space, he literally designed the Ghost Dag protocol, which is a very big key part of Ethereum's tech and is in their white paper. Jonathan Sampaliski, yes, he is in Ethereum's white paper. If you don't believe me, check it out for yourself. He's behind this amazing project. Caspot has block DAG technology, revolutionary tech first of its kind. It's scalable, truly decentralized, it's secure. What does that mean? The trilemma, it's solved the trilemma. We're gonna see this in due time. This is not me telling you guys on a whim, oh yeah, go all in on Caspa. And this is not me telling you to put a lump sum in. I bought in super low to Caspa, but what am I doing? I'm still buying it. I just bought it yesterday. I post my buy alerts, by the way, on my Discord. But I just bought yesterday. What did I do, you know, two weeks ago? I bought some more. What did I do a month ago? I bought some more. I'm not just telling you guys I'm bullish on Casper. I'm actively telling you what I, like, what I tell you I believe in for Casper, I actually follow through on it. Now, I don't hold every single crypto I cover. And I always tell you guys that when I, when I do cover those cryptos, like for example, XDC, I said in my last XDC video, I do not yet have an investment. And when I was covering XRP, before I got in, I also told you guys, I don't have an investment yet into it, but I'm looking at it. So I'm fully transparent with you guys. But I'm gonna tell you this, right? Caspa, as well as it's been doing, you're going to see more FUD. Don't look at it and try to debate these people. People are very stubborn. They're set in their ways. Just let them do what they want to do. This is why I say you got to be your own investor. If you just became bullish because you agree with my points, that's fine. But don't use my belief as the focal point of your research. Because one day, if Casper were to change and my conviction changed, you're going to be panicking and trying to flip-flop. You have to have a good foundation of research, right? Because this level of conviction and confidence doesn't come from just hearing different opinions. It comes from your own due diligence. But Caspa, you're going to see more FUD, right? I mean, we saw FUD at two cents. They're saying, oh, you missed the bottom. It was supposed to be uh, below a penny was the best entry. Below three cents. Oh, I'll wait for a penny. Four cents. Oh, it's going to come back down. Five cents. It's going to, it's overbought. I can't believe you guys are buying at the all-time high. What's going to happen at six cents? And then seven cents? And then eight cents? And then nine cents. Guys, this FUD's not gonna stop. You do, like I said, you don't understand where they're coming from. Maybe they bought Caspa super cheap, sold it at like a 2X, and I'm regretting it. You have no idea what someone's going through on YouTube, social media, or anything. I'm telling you guys right now, Caspa really is like buying Cardano at three cents or buying Ethereum right now at eight dollars. If you can go back in time and buy Cardano at three cents. Or Ethereum at eight dollars? Would you? There's not a single person here who's who's seen Ethereum and Cardano last bull cycle that wouldn't say if they can go back in time they buy those two cryptos at those prices. Not a single person. It's like Bitcoin, right? One of my close friends bought it at two thousand. He sold it for a four X at eight K, not knowing then what Bitcoin was. I asked him the other day, "Would you go back in time and change it?" He laughs and says, "Of course." But this is the thing, people right now are looking at caspa they're just basing the chart the price action and saying it's bound to go down of course it's going to correct but the thing is this your people are so greedy they want to time like these entries so perfectly that they oftentimes part with their cryptos because they had this like fixed mindset that everything has to be perfect it's just like with bitcoin right if you bought bitcoin at two thousand or ten thousand 
or 15,000 last bear cycle or 20,000. Are you going to care if it goes to 150K this bull cycle where you bought it? If you bought it that cheap? Same with Caspa, right? If it hits a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, or five dollars this bull cycle, are you going to care if you started DCAing into it? Sub a penny, two cents, four cents, ten cents. Yeah, you're going to have less multipliers overall depending where you get in. But are you really going to stop yourself if you're bullish on a crypto? Because it's not the perfect entry? I mean, let's use some freaking logic here, guys. If you can go back and buy Bitcoin, last bear cycle, not even pre-dawn stage like my friend did 2K. Last bear cycle at 15K, would you buy Bitcoin? Of course you would, especially if you see it get into around 150K this bull cycle. And this is what I mean. You're never going to satisfy the haters. You're never going to satisfy the fighters. We need them. Look at statistics. 80% of people lose money. In this space, same with stocks, 20% make money. If 100% of investors were bullish on cash flow, what would happen? It'd be this, which is not possible. So we need two sides. There's still people saying Bitcoin's a bad investment. We need them. We're not going to stop them from coming. This is why I say be your own investor. Because if you fall for one of these futters because they sound confident, and I'm not trying to hate on anybody. I'm just telling you, like, some of you guys that are new, you don't know any better. But if you fall for some of these people based on what they say, you have only yourself to blame when you miss these opportunities like this. Caspa, it broke five cents. What's going to happen soon? It's probably going to break six cents. Then it's going to slow down because now the market cap is pretty much a billion. Once these cryptos, like I said, get to a billion, two billion in market cap, they scale back because the liquidity is too large to get the needle moving on its own. Unless any catalyst takes place, like a Binance, Coinbase, Kraken, Gemini, Crypto.com listing, in this case for Caspa. The tokenomics are great. The team is great. The consensus is great. The tech is great. Do they have smart contracts yet? No, but it's a new crypto. Give it time. Give it time. Was Ethereum perfect back in the day? No. Is it still perfect today? No. No crypto is perfect. Not even Bitcoin was perfect. Everyone sees Bitcoin today as the perfect crypto. It was meant to be a payment, a peer-to-peer, -peer, and it failed. Even Bitcoin, the top dog, failed at something. Stop trying to be this perfectionist and trying to fix something that's not broken. Casper, whether you want to believe it or not, is a hidden gem that I keep buying. But again, be your own investor. I cannot stress how important this piece of advice is. If you guys want to reach out to me, talk to me, join my community and be your own investor, be a part of a support group, I would love to see you in my Discord. I have a link in my description, but I know some of you sometimes miss that, so I'll post it in the pinned comments down below. That being said, though, now I want to hear from you. Are you surprised Casper hit five cents and broke a new all-time high? And where do you think this can go by the end of 2025, realistically? Drop your comment down below and let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It really helps so much. That being said, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.